And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Another lonely day in a crowded town Making our way the best we know how but we're moving up. Yo, up, up, up. We're moving in. Oh, coming at ya. Got our dishes packed. Yeah, they are stacked. They've been wrapped to win. Oh, tap the porcelain. I ain't gonna break it. Yo, listen no up. No way. Even if I shake this. Oh, yeah, man. All day. Covered with love. Sealed against troubles. Sheltered in a glass. show where Bob comes out and sings an ukulele karaoke. Uh, what's going on? You are doing the ukulele karaoke, no? No, I'm on a break. Uh, this is the pirates. They are busy with the rest of the show. But I, I, I don't even know the song. Your lyrics, monsieur. Bring in the props. Uh, but wait, I... Why, Kiki? You're out of breeze, monsieur. Hold on. A sec. I'm totally unprepared to do a solo. Your backup singers. What? Isn't that the... Oui. They are the Wiggly Turtle Tubies. The Wiggly Turtle Tubies? They look taller on TV. So do you, Tomato! Uh, but really, this is Larry's gig. I can't just... This show must go on, monsieur. Quick, that is your cue. Just follow along. You will be fine. Let's that turtle. Hello, Hollands. Let's that turtle. Dance, dance, dance. Let's that turtle. Aloha, let's. Let's that turtle. Dance, dance, dance. Well, I keep a little turtle at my uncle and my aunt's. My Annie's name is Myrtle, and my island turtle's name is Lance. He doesn't wander far, even if he has a chance. He just plays his ukulele, and he does the hula dance. What? Let's that turtle. Aloha, let's. Lance the turtle, dance, dance, dance. Lance the turtle, aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle, dance, dance, dance. He threw a luau barbecue one breezy summer night. Invited all his turtle pals to come and have a weeky bite. The turtle started walking there as Lance began to swing. The one that lived across the street arrived there in the spring. Oh, I get it. Turtles are slow. <laughs> so I took them a long time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lance the turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle. Dance, dance, dance. But Lance just kept on cooking. He was grilling full of glee. He was marinating ribs because he likes... Uh, syrup with his feta cheese? Uh, I'm sorry, I... Lance's purple turtle shell has ketchup, if you please. Pineapples are shiny, spotted tiki bumblebees. Oh, man. 
Lance and Turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance and Turtle. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, guys, I don't think this is right. It doesn't make any sense. It works for us. <laughs> but the song, the song. Uh, there are luscious chocolate fingers spinning slowly in the school. Malay Kalikimaka. Fluffy bunnies driving in the pool. <laughs> Larry. A thousand igloos wax the beach, spray luggage in the tree, raining puppies, flying clown, flossing Puna Hale. Ow! Oh, forget it. Woohoo! La Paca Sneezy's coconut, Tahiti Yo Yo Leg, White Mini Whiskey Teddy Floss, the Meg's a Fuzzy Parrot Bag, Paper Plastic Porcupine, the Horsey Makes His Bed, the Homer Who Manuka Nuka Abo I Was in Bed. Lance and Turtle. Hello, Lance. This has been Ukulele Karaoke with Bob. Tune in next time when Bob says... I'll be in my dressing room. Dance, dance, dance. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join our veggie friends for their annual Easter tradition. Okay, kids, ready for the Easter egg hunt? I've got my hat, I've got my net, I've got binoculars, metal detector, I'm set for an expedition, I'm a cute on a mission, the greatest Easter egg hunt yet. I'm good to go, I'll find the prize, at the safari store I bought out all their supplies, life will be sweet when my beautiful treat is right before my eyes, my golden has my name on it It will be mine, all mine, all mine Because I want it It's there for the picking From the bunny or chicken Soon I'll be holding My golden egg In the deepest, darkest jungle There are many scary things I am always on the lookout For whatever bites or stings I run or creep down low I go wherever eggs may roam Remember! I'm a professional, so don't try this at home. No luck? Okay, my search will widen. So just beyond this lava pit, I'm sure that's where it's hiding. I overcome each hardship, I make it through each mess, because I must possess my golden egg. Has my name on it, it will be mine, all mine, all mine, because I want it. It's there for the picking, from a bunny or chicken. Soon I'll be golden egg. I missed it. Oh, look! I found it! And now she has her happy hands around it. I'm defeated. A lot of nothing's what I got. But maybe, but maybe, but maybe not. I still have my golden egg. Thanks to the caring of my competitor whose heart believes in sharing. This foil's made for peeling. What a wonderful feeling. Cause now we are holding our golden egg. Golden egg, golden egg, golden egg, my golden egg. This has been Silly Songs with Lenny. Tune in next time to hear Lenny say, This is awesome, I love egg. Veggie Tales presents If I Sang a Silly Song. The silliest, the funniest, the happiest, the monkeyest? Yeah, monkeyest. <clears throat> Best silly songs in the history of silly songs. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. It's a silly song telethon where we count down all the way to the number one silly song of all time. Ooh, what'll be number one? Will it be Dance of the Cucumber? Eat an old puppino. Watch the cucumber. It's why this smooth oh, me how and dogs. smooth his motion. Or maybe Endangered Love. Manatee. You are the what? Larry? Maybe it's the hairbrush song. Get my hairbrush. Or will it be a new silly favorite? Ooh, what about the one about biscuits? Come on, oh, nice. let's go! Not only do we have biscuits, we've got sippy cups, turtles, and pants. 
and announcing an all-new surprise silly song selected by Larry from thousands of fan submissions. I get all bubbly just thinking about it. Discover the top 20 favorites of all time, plus a brand new never before heard silly song. The fans have spoken. If I sang a silly song, coming to DVD on January 24th, 2012. Oh, found another one. Oh, and another. Uh, Larry, slow down. Save some for me. Come on, Bob. Gotta keep up. I'm looking for the golden egg. I can't let you find it first. Well, I'm not as good as you at finding Easter eggs. Oh! Sorry. It was right there. Oh, man! Woohoo! I am an egg-finding genius. Uh, please, Larry, could you at least give me a little help? But if I do that, how am I gonna find the... <gasps> golden egg? Congratulations. Oh, Bob, I just love Easter. Springtime, baskets, chocolate, golden eggs. What do you suppose is in here? A giant cream-filled chocolate bunny? Please tell me it's a giant cream-filled chocolate bunny. Couldn't tell ya. Happy Easter, Bob and Larry. Oh, well, hi. What's your name? My name is Timmy Tucker. I wonder why Cordy didn't tell us about Timmy. Cordy's got Sundays off. Oh, right. Well, hi, Timmy. How can we help you? Well, I don't know. I'm just happy you're doing an Easter show. Because I love Easter. There's Easter baskets, chocolate, colored eggs. Golden eggs. I love all that stuff. Do you especially love the giant cream-filled bunnies? Those are great. Are you going to have a bunch of that kind of stuff in the show? Yeah, Bob, are we? You know, those things are fun, but sometimes it can be easy to forget what's really important about Easter. Yeah, Bob, what is really important about Easter? Well, Timmy and Larry, it just so happens that we have a story today that can help to remind us all about something and someone far more important. Oh, that's good. While it's going, can you help me get this egg open? Timmy, if it's a giant cream-filled bunny, I'll split it with you. Roll film! So don't you worry, it's still the same dress haven you know and love, but now with a new blue curtain. This is Marley Mead signing off for Access 3, keeping crisper crisp. And cut! What am I doing? A new blue curtain? Keeping crisper crisp. That sounded great. Can I write a tagline or what? Oh, Lewis, this isn't news. It's fluff. Crisper County needs to know. No, they don't. They don't need to know. What difference does it make that Dress Haven has a new blue curtain? Well, there might be somebody out there who loves blue curtains, and that person's really happy now. It's cable access. It's what we do. Well, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. Can I see that? I want to make a difference. I want to help people. Little Susie learns how to use the big potty. Man finds missing chickens. A reunion story. Oh, good. Those are later this afternoon. You know, that's why I studied theater. I wish I could be doing that instead. Theater has the power to help people, to give them a vision of something bigger. Something more important. Well, then this next story might be right up your alley. Oh, I love this old building. You see, Lewis, if this place were still up and running, I could be putting on musicals instead of reporting on chicken reunions. Too bad I'm tearing it down. Next story. Good day, Prescott E. Huddlecoat and the owner of this old theater. You're going to knock it down? Ah, yes. It would be a shame to see her go. Don't think it's without reservation. You know, theater blood runs very deep in my family. Perhaps you've heard of my brother, Winston Huddlecoat, talent judge on the hugely popular America's Got British Judges television show? I think I... Of course you have! Ah, but the theater. Yes, she's old and quite unsafe. I plan to tear her down and build a playground. The children at the homeless shelter could use some place to play. Think of all the happy children. Keeping crisper crisp. But you can't. Uh, Lewis, pause tape. But... Pause tape. <laughs> Pausing tape. But the theater, I mean, think of all the good it could do. Whereas a playground for homeless children? 
Oh, please, Mr. Huddlecoat. Please don't tear it down. Miss... Mead. Marley Mead. Miss Mead, there has not been a production here in over 15 years, and the building is in need of extensive repair. What would you suggest I do? I can't believe you quit your job. Thanks for helping me move, Lewis. I can't believe I quit my job because you quit your job. Oh, don't worry. It'll be worth it. You'll see. We're gonna help people through the power of musical theater. Good thing I still live with my mother. Lewis, you are a great writer. Keeping crisper crisp. Not just anyone can come up with that. How's the writing coming? Well, I gave up on the turn-of-the-century farming musical. Oklahoma? Yeah, that one. Since it's springtime, I've been working on an Easter-themed musical. Oh, I love that idea. It's called Up With Bunnies. Catchy, but Easter is only a week away. You better get hopping. Ooh, clever. I fixed the lights in the bathroom, Miss Mead. Thank you, Howard. You bet. Don't mind the green wires hanging from the ceiling. I don't think those do anything. Okay. Remember, the show has got to be big. Big set, big lights, big cast, big bunnies. With big ears. Sure, big ears. Awesome. Remember, we don't have much time. We're ready for auditions. It's a great turnout. The whole town is a buzz. Thank you for helping us, Mr. Huddlecoat. Oh, please, call me Prescott. It's a pleasure, Molly. You have reignited my inner thespian. I think I might have some Tums. What? La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. She says people. For your audition, tell us exactly why you should be in the musical. But tell us through song. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Jerry. We're auditions one. And two. We really love attention. And we need something to do. Before the singing spectacle comes to its Easter end, we really hope it's helped us make at least a couple friends. 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 I am Howard Greenman, I'm audition number three. Quite frankly, there's no other place where I would rather be. I really love inventing singing robot egg machines. If you have got a screwdriver, then I have got the means. I love it! Giant singing robots! One million times, yes! I don't get the whole robot thing, and it was kind of poochy. That's Pitchy. Poochy is a dog. That's Poochy, dog. The blending of our harmonies is just shy of perfection. perfection. We're certain that we'd be an ideal musical selection. The red looks fantastic on you. So you are a barbershop quartet. Quartet? One, two, three. You did say quartet. Yeah, quartet! Next! I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll try my best and get it. If I try my best and do this right, then maybe I will get it. I'm trying to impress my boss. Songs make me feel dandy. It gets me out of doing chores. I hear there will be two. But in addition to these reasons, reasons with their upsides and their flaws, the thing we love the most is the applause, applause, applause. No! Forget it! Love it's it! Great. It's awful! Grr. The thing we cannot wait for is applause, applause, applause! It was very karaoke! This is the best season ever! What? La 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 la! I disagree! La 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 la! With what you're seeing! La 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 la! I feel like screaming! Come down, do this later! Just a few auditions left! Whew! 
Hello, we are the French Miss Beer Auditions 5 through 9. There seems to be some tension in our French Link chorus line. Before you all get super mad and all fun disappears, perhaps we reevaluate the reasons why we are here. We believe that reason is puppies. Puppies are cuddly, puppies are cute. They're never nasty or mean. I give a home to all the lost puppies. If ever one day I were queen! Arr! That was interesting. Some of the singers weren't bad. But we need a lead. If Up With Bunnies is going to be a success, we need a star. Oh, um, hello. Oh, yes, hello, Winston. It's my brother Winston, the famous one from America's Got British Judges. Yes, I see. Of course. Oh, really? Well, isn't that interesting? Ha, absolutely. Yes, have a good evening. Cassie Cassava. Well, yeah, she'd be great, but she doesn't live here anymore. Not after winning season three of America's Got British Judges. She's big time. And she's coming home to Crisper County for Easter. Winston says she'll be singing at her home church, Crisper County Gospel, this Easter Sunday. Here? I in Crisper? At Easter? Ah! Uh -huh. Where are we going? I'm going to the Crisper County Gospel Church. You're going home to write. Right. Up with bunnies. Check it out. Bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. Up, 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 up with bunnies. They're so furry and adorable. Oh, bunnies make me smile. Catchy, can you imagine if we can get Cassie Cassava for the show? But isn't she supposed to sing at the church? Lewis, we can't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. Our what? <laughs> Be careful up there! Ah! Ow. I need a bigger ladder. I think there's one in the fireside room. Uh, could you do me a favor and make sure we have enough bulletins? I don't want to run out. You are running yourself ragged. It's the biggest Sunday of the year. I'm hoping for a huge turnout. Well, attendance is usually up on Easter morning. Ah, but this Easter is special. Whoops! This Easter, Cassie is singing. Yes, it will be lovely to see Cassie again. We are all very proud of her. Whoops. Can you imagine the turnout? Cassie is a star! This place is gonna be packed! You know, attendance has been down. If we can impress all the people that come Easter Sunday, they'll come back! And you, of all people, Pastor Erwin, should know that the church is not here to impress, but to serve. That's what Jesus did at Easter. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. You've been reading my sermon notes again, haven't you? Maybe. Oh, before I forget, could you sharpen the pencils in the pews and make sure they're stocked with visitors' cards? I'm going to the homeless shelter. I'll help you when I get back. Hello. Hi. Oh, be careful up there. Ah! <clears throat> Are you okay? Can I help you, ladies? Hi, I'm Marley Mead. I'm the new director at the Crisper County Theater. Uh, hi, Miss Mead. I'm Pastor Irwin. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't distract you. I won't be long. I just have a question about Cassie Cassava. What? What do you want to know about Cassie? Well, Pastor, I was hoping you would know where I could find her. We're staging a big Easter-themed musical on Easter weekend. And? And I was hoping to ask Cassie if she would perform for us on opening night. Oh, no, 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 no. Cassie can't perform for you. Cassie is singing here Easter morning. See? Yes, I 
can see that. But don't worry, our show is Saturday night. It won't interfere. Oh, but it will. This is a big service for us. We'll need to rehearse on Saturday night. We gotta get it right. But oh, the show will be amazing. Think of all the people. I'm sorry, Miss Mead. Cassie can't do both. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to finish up around here. Thank you for your time, Pastor Irwin. Okay, crew, we have a lot of work to do and not much time. Louis, how's the finale coming? Great. I I'm still working on the bridge. Almost done. Awesome. Make sure it ends big. Howard? Howard? Does anybody know where Howard is? Ah! What was that? I think it was a giant painted Easter boy. Howdy, Marley. Just working on Gary here. Gary? My robot Easter Bunny. I haven't worked out all the kinks. He's the centerpiece for the Up With Bunnies finale. Show her. Did I say the part about the kinks? Yeah, you, you did mention that. Look, everybody, we gotta work out all the kinks. We don't have much time. Louis, you've gotta make the finale bigger and more impressive. Howard, you've gotta make the bunny bigger, more impressive. We've got to seize this opportunity to help people through the power of musical theater. We've only got a couple of days left. If we can't have Cassie Cassava, then we've got to wow them with spectacle. Miss Marley, the posters are here. Great. Louis, can you run everyone through the act two opener? You bet. All right, everyone. Places for Don't Cry For Me Easter Bunny. Don't cry for me, Easter Bunny. The truth is you're cute and cuddly. I set a trap out to make you my pet. I kept you prisoner. Don't keep my chocolate. This is going to be great. Up with bunnies, opening Saturday night. Hey. That's the night before Cassie Cassava sings at the sunrise service. I'm going to bed early. Good luck, anybody coming to this. Yeah, good luck. Good night, Miss Marley. Good rehearsal, everyone. Just one more before opening night. Be sure to get plenty of rest. Not me. Me and Gary are pulling an all-nighter. I'll be in the back if you need me. All right, guys, we're sunk if we can't get Cassie Cassava to sing on opening night. But I thought you said she's singing at the church. On Easter morning. And that she couldn't sing in our show Saturday night because she's rehearsing for the service. I know. I know that's what I said, but the fact is, if Cassie isn't here on Saturday night, the seats will be empty. How are we going to help people through the power of a musical theater if there are no people here to help? Excuse me. We've got to figure out a way to get Cassie here on Saturday night. Are you guys with me?
And now it's time for the latest dance craze with Jean-Claude and Philippe, the part of the show where Jean-Claude and Philippe come out and teach us the latest dance craze. Hello, boys and girls. I am Jean-Claude P. And I am Philippe. Get ready to learn the latest dance craze, sweeping the nation. So, Jean-Claude, where do we start? After you, Philippe. After you. We're a couple of shipper little French peas. Most of the veggies totally agree. And when we're feeling really, really happy, we, we do, do the hopperina. You may ask yourself, what is the hopperina? And how do I do the hopperina? What am I missing out on? Will people like me if I fail to grasp it? Should I just eat the bonbon and go back to bed? That's totally normal. Come down and we will show you. You don't need much to do the hopperina. It won't take too much time to explain it. Fuzzy slippers on your feet. Bunny ears upon your brain. Not do the hopperina. Okay, now that we've got on bunny slippers and ears, what we're going to do is take a hop to the left. Left, beautiful. Now, take a hop to the right. Right. Try the end. You've got it. Hop to the left. We do the hopperina. Then hop to the right. I love the hopperina. Back to the left. And do it once again. Uh. Ooh, hopperina. That's it. Amazing! You have mastered the dance so quickly! Let's keep going! Hop to the left. We do the hopperina. Then hop to the right. Hold it! Stop hop, the music! Hop, what hop, are you doing? Hop. hop to the left, hop to the right, hop to the left, hop to the right again. This isn't a dance, it's hopscotch! That's hopperina. A dance has to be more involved. You need more steps, more room for interpretation. We have bunny ears. You think it's so easy? Let's see you do it. All right, then. No, 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 no. You need the ears and feet. Ultra ball, this is serious asparagus. I believe you'd probably agree with us. The best way to not be a sourpuss. Do the hopperina. Hop to the left. He does the hopperina. He hops to the right. Trying not to complain. Back to the left. And do it once again. Hey, hopperina. This is actually quite fun. Let's see. I hop to the left. Hoppy hopperina. Then hop to the right. I love the hopperina. Back to the left. I'll do it once again. Hey, hopperina. Oh, oh, this is quite fun. Um, can I have my ears back? Okay, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> this is very pleasant. Oh, this has been the latest dance craze with Jean-Claude and Philippe. Tune in next time to hear Jean-Claude say... I am embarrassed for you. Cassie Cassava, here, tonight? Two tickets, please. I've got a bad feeling about this. When I think of Easter, oh, when I think of Easter, oh, when I think of Easter, I think about God's love. I think about it, God's love. I think about it, God's love. I think about it, I think about God's love. All right, let's make sure we're all on the same page. Lewis, you distract the pastor. Paint peeling on the entrance looks terrible. Gotta fix it. And Prescott, you and I. Uh, you and I. Uh, say it. Lure Cassie out of the church, onto the bus, and over to the theater. And we do that by. Making believe we're representatives of America's Got British Judges. Okay, good. This is so wrong. We just need to get her there in time for the finale. She sings, people go crazy, we bring her back, and she sings here on Sunday. It's the perfect plan. Yes, well, perfect wouldn't be my first word choice. Louis, you did finish writing the finale. Uh-huh, and Howard finished supersizing Gary. Oh, it's gonna be spectacular. All right then, let's go get us a star. When I think of Easter, Whoa. it's all the love of God. Love of God. Sending a son from heaven above to teach me how to love. That's what he taught me. Jesus gave 
live this life. Yes, it is. It's more than I deserve. Yes, it is. I'll bring his love to each and every one. He's the reason why I serve. I'm serving. I think about it. Oh, I think about it. Oh, I think about it. I think about God's love. Can I help you? Uh, your cable pipes are leaking in the uh, the office. The copier is losing pressure. Quick, follow me! Excuse me, please. I'll be right back. What are you doing? I got confused. Hello? Can I help you? Uh, there's a Lynx in the annex. What? Excuse me, we're looking for Cassie Cassava? Yes, I'm here. That's me. Good day, Miss Cassava. We're with the legal department of America's Got British Judges. I'm British! Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. We're, we're terribly sorry, Miss Cassava, but it seems there's been a misunderstanding with the terms of your contract as the winner of the contest. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Within six months of the final telecast, winners shall be obligated to perform at a venue and time of company's choosing. Uh, blah, blah. Failure to comply, blah, will result in loss of title. So you see, Miss Cassava, has anybody seen the guy? Uh, who are you? But you look familiar. Have we met? Oh, my goodness! The youth pastor is stuck in the baptismal! What? We don't have a youth pastor, or a baptismal. We sprinkle. While we're sure this is a simple oversight on your part, we must insist that you comply with the terms of your agreement. So I just have to sing once, wherever you want me to? But I... That's right. But fortunately, we've already made arrangements, and it won't take much of your time. What? If you'll just come with us now. Now? But the sunrise service is really Oh, early. you'll be back in plenty of time. Huh? Who are you again? I'm British! Well, looks like we've cleared up your bat problem. Probably won't need another fumigation till Advent. See ya! Cassie! It's a full house. They are loving it. So, I just go out there, sing this song, and then I can go? That's right! Bunnies, 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 up, 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 up with bunnies. Perfect! Bunnies! <laughs> okay, it's time for the finale. Bunnies, up, 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 up with bunnies. They're so furry and adorable. Oh, bunnies make me smile. They're so fuzzy, they're so chubby, eating marshmallow yummies. They're just hopping, hopping, hoping you'll hop with them for a while. Bunnies up, up, up with bunnies up. Oh, up bunnies. with bunnies up. Come on with up, the bunnies. Up with bunnies. Up, 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 bunnies. Fancy bunnies, sporty bunnies too. Oh, oh, oh. Bunnies with a hint of khaki. Oh, bunnies yeah. on ice. Bunnies dressed like tribesmen. Giant oh, robot bunnies. Bunnies, bunnies, bunnies.
what I've done. Thank goodness no one was injured. I just wanted to help people, and I've made a total mess of things. All this could have been a disaster. Could have been? I'd pretty much say this is a disaster. Look, Marley, I've always liked working with you, but I think it's time for me to go back to my old job at Channel 3, if it's not too late. I'm freezing. My mom's probably worried about me. I'm... I'm gonna go home. See you around, Marley. <sighs> what am I going to do? I don't even have a place to stay. Crisper County Homeless Shelter. Oh, well, I suppose I qualify. Hi, Miss. Happy Easter. Can I help you? I... Uh, I need a place to sleep tonight. Do you suppose... You are most certainly welcome to stay here tonight. It's freezing. They say it may snow. Thanks. It's already started. We'll be having breakfast before folks head out to the sunrise service, but you should be able to get a little sleep. Let me show you where you can rest. <sighs> Easter in a homeless shelter. It wasn't part of the plan. I... I just wanted to help people. How were you gonna do that? With a big production? I've always thought theater had the power to give people a vision of something bigger. Something more important. Hmm, that sounds nice. We've never been to the theater, Joshua and I. Maybe it could have helped us. Why are you here? Well, life's been kind of rough for us these last few years. We had nowhere else to turn. These nice folks here have really helped us. Helped you? Yeah. Meals, a warm place to sleep. Joshua can go to school. We're so thankful. One day we'll get back on our feet. Looks like they're helping you, too. <sighs> yeah. I guess they are. Good night. Good night. Happy Easter, Pastor Irwin. Mrs. B. A happy Easter. Happy Easter. Sorry we are so late. It looks like it's really coming down out there. It's a big spring snow. The bus barely made it. Uh, Mrs. Clark, I think we should get everyone who wants to come to the sunrise service on the bus right away. We're afraid if we wait and have breakfast here, we won't make it back before sunrise. And you can't have a sunrise service if you miss the sunrise. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Mrs. Clark, I need to go to the bathroom. Besides, the folks here won't want to miss Cassie Cassava singing. <laughs> Thank goodness she came back last night. Can you believe the nerve of some people practically kidnapping her to sing in some silly show about bunnies? Some people do have a lot of nerve. You? I'm sorry, Pastor Irwin. Oh, what I did was wrong. I wanted to help people, but I wasn't helping anybody. Will you forgive me? What? Uh... Hmm. It seems putting on an impressive show isn't all that it's cracked up to be sometimes. Right, Pastor Erwin? Huh. No, I, I, I guess it's not. I forgive you. Uh, Marley, is it? Mm-hmm. Maybe the best thing you can do when you want to help someone is... Well, just help. Yeah. That's right. So, is there anything I can do to help? Can you take me to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cute. Sure. We're not going anywhere! The bus is stuck in the snow! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! Has anybody seen Marley? Lewis! Prescott Howard! What are you doing here? We were worried about you. With all this snow... And no place to stay. We wanted to make sure you were all right. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Miss Marley. 
But how did you get here with this blizzard? Bunny power! Gary's awesome in the snow. Doesn't even phase him. His turbocharged hopper is better than four-wheel drive! You know, we might not have to miss the sunrise service after all. I don't know if this is a good idea. I think it's a great idea. There's no time to waste. The sun will be up any minute. All right, boys. Can you get us to the church on time? You got it, Pastor Irwin. Here comes Gary Don't feel bad, Gary. It was a good run. It's not over yet, Howie. What? What are you talking about? Failure is not an option, Howie. Lewis? No, you can't do that. It's on your feet, soldier. No, Lewis! Lewis, no! Forgive me for tricking you into singing in my show? Of course I will. Hey, if you don't count the building falling down, it was kind of fun. And so the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So as we remember his death and resurrection on this Easter Sunday, let's serve others like Jesus served us. That's my cue. Hey, why don't you do this with me? Me? With you? Oh, Cassie, I don't even know this song. Oh, come on. You'll pick it up quick. 
I did it with your rabbit song. When I think of Easter, oh, when I think of Easter, oh, when I think of Easter, I think about God's love. I think about it, God's love. I think about it, God's love. I think about it, I think about God's love. When I think of Easter, oh. it's all the love of God. Love of God. Sending his son from heaven above to teach me how to love. That's what he taught me. Jesus gave his life. Yes, he did. It's more than I deserve. Yes, it is. I'll bring his love to each and every one. He's the reason why I serve. Come on, serve him. When, when I think, think about Easter, oh. I'll take a look around. Look around. Lord, help me to see the people in need across the world or in my town. Lord, let me see them. Join us in our singing oh. and spread the Easter cheer. Spread it out. Helping one another. One great bigger reason why we're here. was a real nice story, Bob. Thanks, Larry. And a great reminder of what's most important about Easter. Jesus. That's right. By the way, thanks for helping me get the egg open. You're welcome. I'm bummed out it was empty, though. Well, you shouldn't be. Why not? Because this is an egg that reminds us that Jesus' tomb was empty on that first Easter morning. <gasps> oh, I get it. Well, then I'm not bummed out at all. That's awesome. It sure is. Let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. I never get tired of that song. Me either. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. Uh, QWERTY? Oh, remember, Bob? Cordy's got Sundays off. <gasps> That's right. Uh, hold on a second. So, it turns out the golden egg was empty. No cream-filled bunny. That's okay. I've got plenty of jelly beans. Oh, jelly beans. I love jelly beans. Here we go. Mark 10, 45. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Son of Man is Jesus, right, Bob? That's right, Larry. Jesus came to serve us, even giving his life for us. And rising again on Easter. So, Timmy, does this help to remind you what's really important about Easter? Yes, remembering what Jesus did for us and trying to be like him. You got it, buddy. But we're still cool with the chocolate bunnies, eggs, and jelly bean thing, though, right? Absolutely. Oh, good. Well, that's all the time we have for today, kids. Remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Bye! Bye. And now it is time for Classy Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly, now fancy this and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty, like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat the treat so 
bungee of chocolate this and chocolate that. Delicious must that makes him feel so dandy. A chocolate bliss. A chocolate snack. Invention such as he's so warm and candy. So what I find about so bad. I have my chocolate placed upon my lap. I feel so good, you just cannot top that. I have my snack, a chocolate pack of chocolate this and chocolate that. Oh golly, Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Upon his hat. And so was that. So beneath his hat he thought and pondered. What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat. He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool. A chocolate bag. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot. My hat, it might go flat, and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dad furnace goes flat. He decided to forego his look so dashing to save his hat. And eat a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me. Sit close to me. Upon my hat. Upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. A great big squash just sat upon my hat. A great big squash just squished my hat real flat. He squashed my hat, he made it flat. He squished my snack. Oh, what a that! Oh, tell me, anybody, now what do you think of that? A great big squash just sat upon my hat. Oh, golly! Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? And now it's time for silly... Hold it! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Scottish Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly Scottish song. I can't tell you how proud I am at this moment. I dance on stilts while he knits quilts. Nice quilt! I sing with simulated Scottish Highland lilts. Oh, beautiful! He plays his bagpipes. He tags smells. Tigers! We feel so smart in our red tartan Scottish kilts. Sing it loud! In our red tartan kilts. We feel so smart in our red tartan Scottish kilts. Technically, you stitch a quilt, but otherwise lovely. Happy morning to you! I'll have you know that's not in Scotland. I dance on stilts. Excuse me, sir. He stitches quilts. What are you doing with a camera? I sing with simulated Northern Irish lilt. Irish! He plays his whistle. What? Eat salt, it smelts. It's not on the menu. We feel so smart in our green tartan Irish kilts. I got nothing against me, Irish men. Green, green tartan kilts. We feel so smart in our green tartan Irish kilts. But this is a sky song. Chip, chip, cheerio. Ooh. I dance on stilts. He stitches quilts. What are you doing? I sing with simulated English cockney lilts. English. He plays his trumpet. Eats crumpet. We feel so smart in our St. George's English kilts. Well, you shouldn't let me In our St. George's kilts. We feel so smart in our St. George's English kilts. Howdy, you are! Stop it, you! You're ruining me, man! I dance on stilts. He stitches quilts. American! I sing with ordinary unaccented lilts. I'm feeling dizzy. He plays his banjo. Each cheddar melts. I'm breaking We feel so smart in our star spangled striped kilts. Stop we feel so smart in our star spangled striped We feel so smart in our star spangled striped 
has been Silly Songs with Scottish Larry. Tune in next time to hear Larry say... Just get him some scotch tape and butterscotch. He'll be fine. Ah, oh, my bunny lies over the ocean. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. And what would you like to drink? I'll just have water, please. And could I have it in a glass this time? Hmm, let me check my records. Just as I suspected, good thing I stopped and checked it. My pad is stained and blotted from liquids you spilled on it. I'm afraid the jig is up. You must use a sippy cup. Stop! Don't bring me a sippy cup. Haven't spilled since yesterday. Water won't stain anyway. Bring a mug, bring a jug, just don't bring a sippy cup. Let me check with the bus boy. Is he the one? <gasps> it's you! Every time I fill it, he turns around and spills it. I've bought a hundred blotters, cause you can't hold your waters. This time I'm not mopping up. You, you must, must use a sippy cup. No! Don't bring me a sippy cup. They'll be making fun of me. Put a pail in front of me. Bring a mug, bring a jug, just don't bring a sippy cup. Well, I could ask the maitre d'. This is impossible, he paddles a park cafe. You take me for a fool, a restaurant's not a pool. Take his glass and lock it up. The pickle gets a sippy cup. Wait, don't bring me a sippy cup. This time I'm not gonna spill. I'm pretty sure he will. Spilling soda's not a crime. If it is, I'll do time. Just don't bring a sippy cup. Order, order in the court. I judge you the clumsy sort. By the dictates of our laws, I sentence you to safety's cross. It's the governor. Yes, I see. Very well. Thank you, governor. <clears throat> Give me back that sippy cup. You've been granted sippy stay. This must be my lucky day. This must be his lucky day. Bring a mug, bring a jug. I'll bring an absorbent rug. You, you don't need a sippy cup. Compliments of the house. Grape juice. Grape juice? Oops. Sorry. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say, I'll take that sippy cup. Next up on Veggie Shopping Network, Pants. Welcome, viewers. What comes next? A pair of pants with stripes or checks? Dig in your wallet, dump out your purse. Who'll be the one to buy the first pair? You can wear them if you're big, you can wear them if you're small, they're pants if you're short and shorts if you're tall. You can wear them in the spring, you can wear them in the fall, they're pants if you're short and shorts if you're tall. So fun so far, down to 20. Look what you get for a little bit of money, down to your feet and up to your tummy. <laughs> Throwing a set of Ginsu knives, a pair of pants could change your life. One easy payment, $9.95. See the tag on the back, one size fits all. Pair of pants if you're short. And shorts if you're tall. You can wear them to the barn, you can wear them to the mall. Pair of pants if you're short. And shorts if you're tall. Sixteen more, without a fall. You can't buy these in any store, they're just like your granddaddy wore. Yeah. Six legs less than a squid. It's a verb for a dog and a noun for a kid. With a pair of pants, you're not alone. You can dance with your pants till the cows come home. This pair of pants will win your heart. We accept most credit cards. A stretchy waist, elastic band. Makes these your buffet eating pants. Those are 
your slacks are corduroys. Pants bestow a special joy. As seen on the screen of your TV, these pants can hide unsightly knees. This pair is made of high-grade vinyl. Don't hesitate, all sales are final. To summarize, you might recall their pants if you're short and shorts if you're tall. You've got some skinny legs. Broccoli, celery, gotta be. 